want to start this video by showing you the time it is now four okay thirteen minutes you might think that it is daytime no it is as you can see also outside it is dark okay so this is the reason you see i'm still working i'm working I'm still working. So let me answer this question. Because of the video that I've watched that was uploaded intentionally, that was recorded intentionally, I'm from Africa. This is Masse Masse Boa. This has made me even to renew my contract. Okay? Um, because of what I've seen, where I am, I may not be safe, or I may I may not be safe where I am. But even where I am going, I don't think that I am safe. According to what I have seen, some women have been pushed to work as housemaids, most especially in these Arab countries. What has made these women? Be pushed to come and work as housemates. These are some of the incidents that are happening eh, in our own countries that have even pushed us to come and work. A fellow African who come out and say that I'm a slave, I rather be a slave being paid under someone's roof than dying under someone's hands who pretends to be loving yet in actual sense he's not no help no kind of help was seen in this kind of a video okay so these are the kind of things that has pushed so many women to become even single mothers some african men not all, I will not say all, but some have pushed us this far to become slaves the way you call it, to become housemates in these countries. Though the situation that I can't know what is going to happen tomorrow. But still, if you can come out and record such a video intentionally and still give it to someone to edit it and upload it what do you think is going to push me to to hurry up to leave this ceremony and come back to my own country some women we are here working though not all are suffering but to those who are not we cannot even come out and encourage others to come and work as housemates because we are there hiding, though, thinking that tomorrow might change things. If you were pushed by a husband, a so-called husband or a man, if you were pushed out of your comfort family, out of your, your marriage, and you came out to work as a housemaid, if you have been seeing things in a negative way, you start looking at them in a positive way. Even though you see them, they are totally negative. Look at them in a negative way. Change them, you, as you. Because what I have seen, it has made me even to keep my positivity, you know. This is why I, at times I come out and I want to say something positive, not always negative. Negative things can push you to do something that you cannot do. No matter the situation, no one will care. And no one will care. By the way, no one will care. So it's you to change things before things go. Go, like go beyond your limit. Start seeing things in a positive way. Start doing things in a positive way. Let your tongue say things in a positive way. Hmm? 
This is why we don't need even at times to share negative things. Because when you share positive, it might change someone's mind. It might stop that someone who, was, who wanted to do something bad. And make sure that you live in an environment that is positive. Surround yourself with the people who are positive. Surround, your, oh, surround yourself with the people who talk positive. When you live in a, in a toxic environment, you become also toxic. You become something else. At times, we expect people to change us in a good way, but we end up being changed in a bad way. That's why so many women have left their children, their families, and they came to work as housemates. Why? Because they might have been through a lot. But the only solution was like, let me excuse myself and I go to work. But when you reach to this side, still you're still in an environment. You're still surrounded by the people who are still talking negative. It's high time. Where you're from, you were in a negative environment. Where you are, still you're still there. Talking with the people who are still talking negative. Cut yourself from the people who, are who talk negative. You are going to see change. And once you see change, this change, I mean the, the, the positive way, you will never want to go back in a negative. Even want to have a negative mind in you. So to those who have been like, People are suffering in here. People are doing what? People are being this and this or the other. Just to know that it is everywhere. We can die from everywhere. Someone, even the so-called beloved ones, they can do something to us. Okay? So don't let us not always say that these people are bad. You might be bad. I might be bad. They might be bad. Okay, so it's everywhere, and nowadays the world is going crazy. So it is up to you to change your mindset. Once I tested this family, once I landed to work for this family, I had to change my mindset. And I, I, I don't want to go back. Like, I don't want to have that mind that I had before. Okay, even at times when I feel like I'm, I'm turning the other side, I still, no one, is, no one is reminding me to keep focused. No, I have to remind myself that I have to keep focused. I have to keep a positive mind in me because I have no one to remind me. I know where I was, so I don't really want to go back to where I was. That's why I'm always focused. Even if I, 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 I try to doze and I'm like going there, going back, still I have to remind myself that where I was, I don't really want to test it again. So it is up to you, my dear friends. There is no press that is safe. It is you to make it safe for yourself. No one else is going to make it safe for you. That's why I'm going to renew my contract, by the way. Because where I am seems to be better than where I'm going. Okay? At times, 